sound like it sound like country, like almost like you know what I mean, like country music, but then it got like a pop feel to it. I can see it. I fuck with it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You fucking yeah. with the sun. That's why I say I feel like it's definitely, yeah, yeah, country with a little bit of not pop, but like. Nah, but it got soul. I think that's what it is. It has a lot of soul to it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Good. It's good. Yeah, it's like good. Yeah. Thank you. I think the first song Sub put me on was uh the tequila uh what it was. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, that was. The first that's a yeah. That's what's up. We rolling? Okay. Well, welcome back to Backwoods Backstage. You already know we are live here at Dreamville 2024. And we sitting here with new artist Nella. And we just were listening to your music, man. We we all rocking with it. It's cool. It's like it's like we said, it give you that country soul kind of feel to it. Thank you very much. I'm glad you yeah. enjoy it. If you had to like describe yourself or your genre to somebody, like what would you describe it as? Uh, just good, honestly. Mm-hmm. I think I could sit a lot of people down for like eight hours and just play song after song after song after song. I think you'd have a hard time answering the, the same question. I have no idea what it is. I just enjoy it. Good music. Yes, man. What got you into music? Uh, my dad. I grew up in church. He was a praise and worship leader. Uh-huh. Um, and, and then my, <laughs> okay. I can see the vibe. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. And my memo spoiled me on good like Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, gotcha. the Carpenters, the Beach Boys. So I just got very spoiled with good music. Uh-huh. Um, so it's kind of hard not to fall in love with it. Who gotcha. you, who your go to artist that you putting on when you want to just feel good? Oh, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder. Uh, I'm gonna say Pink Floyd, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Post, Juice World, class, new classics, old classics, just good music. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you do you vibe with a lot of new music too? Do you play like listen to other artists to see or or are you rocking with anybody vibe? Yeah, I listen to a lot of people. I try not to listen to stuff that's extremely relevant just because I don't want to be too influenced, like, in my art. So I want to put somebody, right. somebody be like, oh, I can tell what you were listening to. But, uh, yeah, I like a lot. I like a lot. I'm pretty much like everybody. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of good artists out right now. Okay. What do you see yourself, like, where do you want to go creatively with your music? Um, That's a... Interesting question. I have no idea. I'm really still trying to figure out who I am as a person. So as long as it continues to feel good, um, I think I make music based on emotion. And I think being 22, I'm still learning how to handle my emotions. So I think For sure. as long as I stick with the mood music and you know project how I feel on the inside, wherever that takes me, whatever that looks like yeah. you know, years from now. How did you link up with Issa? Uh I was playing bars when I was like 16. Uh-huh. Um, I tried to get like three regular jobs, got fired from them all in like three weeks. Yeah, so I, and that's a I, sign right there. You know, yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I took it as. Uh, so I started playing guitar at bars, and then uh, my boy Malik that I work with now, he had found me at a boxcar arcade in Greensboro, and he was like, "Yo, I know this guy, uh, Sud. He throws this festival called No Stress Fest. Uh, we should play it." So he booked me there. Um, at the, it was the Travis Porter 10 year anniversary uh-huh. or something like that, and I got up and played guitar. <laughs> And then we got in the studio like a week later, and now we're here. That was like 2020 or 2021, so it's been at least three or four years. Oh, that's what's up. Y'all still locked in? Yes, sir. Yeah, so he, he you made him a believer from the start. Yeah, try, try. Yeah, yeah. That's so if it went for music, what else you you think you would be doing? Literally nothing. That, still trying right. to do music. Great like, answer. I, I, tried the, I tried the jobs. It did not work out at all. Three strikes, you're out is what they say. So When did yeah. you know you was like, okay, I'm going to be an artist or I'm going to try? Um, probably like, I'm not gonna lie, being very young, I, I've always, music is like the only language I speak without stuttering, so it was like, I felt most comfortable and most fluent in it, I, I was practicing my signature on my homework in seventh grade, you know, I'd get 10 points deducted off, because my teacher would be like, you're supposed to write your name in print, but she would bring it to me to tell me that, so I was like, Cause, it's cause working. Because you're 22, right? Yes. Yeah, y'all don't even have to practice cursive like we did when we were Oh, like, yeah, oh, we no, no, no. I yeah. think I was the last class to do that because I had to practice cursive in second grade. It was yeah. like you had to learn it, like yeah. how to sign checks and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't think they teach it anymore. Well, they don't no. teach that shit at all. That's yeah. crazy. But you already had your signature down pat, though. But it ain't, it isn't even, I made it up. It isn't even a cursive. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just made it up. But I was like, the whole point of a signature is like, they say, make it hard to forge. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you ain't forging mine. I'll right. tell you that. What do you like to do for fun? I feel like you do some cool shit. Like you throw axes or some shit. I have done that. We tend to do that. I think I do that. That's just one venue in Nebraska we hit every time we go on tour. And I definitely throw axes every time I'm there. But I like drinking, hanging out with friends, beer pong, riding dirt bikes, uh, traveling, like exploring. I don't know. I do a lot of dumb things. I'm not going to lie to you. But I just like being around good people. So beer whatever. pong, you got to be good at that. Yeah. Who's some artists you want to link with or network with? And just even being at the festival, how you feel about that? You on a high from that? Uh, you said what? You on a high from even being at the festival, just being around like you know, oh, yeah. like minded artists. How does it feel? Um, it feels good. I met a lot of cool people. Uh, last year was my first year at Dreamville, so uh-huh. that was a crazy experience in itself. And then to be back, um, it's insane. I, I love coming out here. You meet a lot of people that, yeah, it's a it's a bunch of creatives, not necessarily right, just artists, yeah. but just a bunch of people that are like entrepreneurs in themselves. Uh-huh. So being around a lot of people that are you know strong willed and and have the right mindset when it comes to being like making a business yourself gotcha. um i learned a lot uh, just in regular conversation because even you being from this state like i know yeah. that's like like damn yeah there's a lot of people doing it and doing it good so yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's definitely you sit you down and make you think it's possible you've been seeing a lot of people that you grew up with or just from home no i don't i don't see anybody i grew up with i'm not gonna lie to you i grew up in a very small town so okay i didn't even realize i didn't even know studios existed in north carolina until like 2020 Damn. Oh, that's what's up. So yeah. what your what's the name of your small town? Uh, Trinity. 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 How far Trinity, that is North from? Uh, yeah, it's uh, you know where High Point is, or Greensboro. Okay, I know, yeah. I heard of Greensboro. Yeah, yeah it's like, got Greensboro. It's like 20, 30 minutes below Greensboro. Okay, okay. Just like an hour and a half west of here. How does that feel to be from? Are you like the first person from your city or your town that's made it, or that's like doing what you? Or do you have other people in your city that's like creative wise? Well, you the been, inspiration. I don't even know how to put it. I don't know anybody from my town doing what I'm doing, but yeah. that, I, like, like I said, I didn't even know it was possible. I didn't. I just kind of stumbled on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not gonna sound the lucky one, but just like, no, I don't know anybody else from my town doing this. To be honest, now just think about it, I haven't asked that, but nah, yeah, it's pretty much just me. Yeah. In a good way though, not in a weird way. In a good way. But how does that feel? You feel good about that? Like, okay, you putting your city on the map? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I've never thought about it like that. Yeah, I hope. You got to uh, rep your city. No, yeah, no, of course. No, I definitely tell everybody where I'm from, but I've yeah. just never thought about it. Because like, I can tell how you brought it up. You like Most people will say, like, I'm from Greensboro, but you know. Nah, you Trinity. Made it specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trinity. Trinity. Definitely Trinity. I'm from Trinity. I'm from Trinity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody okay. knows Greensboro. A lot of people know High Point, but I'm from Trinity. Nobody knows Trinity, so we got to make sure y'all. You know Who's what some saying? other artists you listen to? Like currently, like yeah, right now, yeah, yeah. Like currently, right now, that people wouldn't be on or or wouldn't even think that you would be listening to. Uh, I know you said Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, but you know what I'm saying like not the classic. There's art. an indie band from Boone, North Carolina, uh, called Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Crazy name. Say it again. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. That makes me feel happy. It like was, just uh, hearing that name. He said his friend was on <laughs> drugs in the hospital. Uh, and he said that he just kept saying that. So that's why they named the band that. Like, he was just looped up, and he just kept saying Rainbow Kitten Surprise. But they make, like, super fire indie music, and their writing is, like, top tier. Like, the lead singer, his pen is insane. The instrumentalists are insane. You would love it. It's so good. But okay. it's a little hidden gem. All right. Who's some artists in the game you want to work with? Uh, Adele. Like, who, who you think you would collaborate with that we wouldn't even expect? Like, see it. Yeah, see it coming, expect. Adele. I like Adele. I love Adele. Adele. I okay. love Adele. I've never seen anybody I have a feature see, I can her. see that, too, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, Adele's voice is very soulful, too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank, mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, uh, Adele, uh, Bruno Mars. Uh, oh, yeah, Hunter. Yeah, but that's coming up. Oh, shit. Uh, you got it. Oh, yeah. Damn. Okay. That's an exclusive right there. So you yeah. got you and Hunter got one in the works? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. What? What's it called? Uh, it's called Love on the Brain. Love on my Damn. brain. That's gonna be hard. No, nah, I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, you like it? Yeah. How, how did that even uh, like come together? I met him in Texas like a year and a half ago. Was or two it South by Southwest? Nah, I was on tour, and he was just out there working at uh, I think it's Seven One Three is the uh-huh. studio. And uh, so we pulled up, and he introduced us. I think he had seventy k at the time, which I know he's like crazy pop right now, but he's been hard. Yeah, yeah, you know, for so sure. He's been hard, so. We went out there um, and just got in the studio and hung out. I think we made a song that night, but it was, my part was trash. His part was fire, but my part was trash. Yeah. So we, uh, I ended up uh, recording one in Miami like a year or half a year ago. And I was like, this is fire. So I sent it to him. I was like, yeah, you need to get on this. And he sent me back a fire verse. And uh, so we've been working on 
putting that together. Damn. That's Shout out to him, like, keeping it still 100. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on. for sure. And then even, like, so you didn't think to even just re-record your shit? Nah, my part was trap. Once I once I listen to a beat and I put a melody on it, I'll never hear a different melody on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, once the beat tells me what mm. I should say, that's pretty much it. So if I don't like it, then it's like, if I don't think I did a good job, I'm not going to be able to think of nothing new. I'm just going to. A lot of people be second guessing they stuff though, and you might be really in your head. Yeah, you your shit, really it might it. be straight. Yeah. You I, might just be being too hard on yourself. I think some people would enjoy it. It's definitely not bad, but I don't I think I could have done better. But so you I'm, know this this yeah. one that y'all got coming up is bro, it's it. I shut you I shut uh, you. You'll, you'll t- enjoy it. When you say it, bro, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. I promise you'll enjoy he it. He's confident now. Yeah, he's like, he bro. Like, yeah, this one it. This the one, bro. This the one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Who you ever worked with in the studio that made you be like really inspired? Or maybe it was how they worked or just they pin game made you be like, let me inspire it inspired you creatively. Um I haven't worked. No, I don't think anybody writing wise has caught my fancy yet but i would say production wise golly wow is this lame is that lame of me that i can't think of anybody that's yeah, like no. inspired me uh my engineer 24 7 i work with him every day it's who i write all my music with produce all my music with it's my right hand man shout out 24 7 he records yeah. all my music he inspires me every day he's hard he's fire okay. he's super fire 24 7 shout out seven Favorite movie of all time. Favorite movie of all time. I know mm. you weren't expecting that. A Star is Born. Brad, uh, or no, what's his name? A Star is Born. A Star is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. You know he. That's is, newer though. No, yeah. Uh, old old time movie. Probably like all time. Like all classic. time. Classic. Uh, probably the Truman Show. Jim Carrey. Truman Show. Or Happy Gilmore. Oh, okay, okay, I know that. Happy right. Gilmore with Adam Sandler. That's a great movie. Okay. Happy Gilmore, cool, too. I see you got Pac-Man on your fingers. I do. Tattooed on your fingers. You like Pac-Man? I do. You said what? I say you like Pac-Man? Uh, no, I just did that. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, <laughs> I, I was I was going to put a, uh, the real Pac-Man right here, so when I play guitar, the inlays, like the little white dots on my guitar, uh-huh. it looked like the yellow Pac-Man on my hand when I strum was like the waka waka, you know what I'm saying, going to my fingers. Oh, okay. That's hard. Yeah. So what all instruments you play? I was about to say. Uh, I have the knowledge of about 20, but I Damn. fluently play like guitar, bass, piano, drums. Like I grew up playing. Damn. I was so in, you really just musically inclined, like period. Yeah. That's about it, too. Stops there. Starts and stops which, there. Which instrument did you learn to play first? Uh, drums when I was four. Okay. Yeah, my dad always told me you can find a good beat keeper, but it's hard to find a real drummer. So he worked that in my head pretty young. So you play drums in a church? Yeah, when I was like four to like nine. I don't know how this sound. I just never knew it was like people playing drums in white churches. True. Well, <laughs> let me show you something. I'm not gonna lie to you, and you could and you could play. Like, but, yeah, a little but, bit. But white boys can be drummers, like of course. You, you but in a church, I never seen. You know, what I'm church, no, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. The 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 hardest drummer I've ever met. His name is Chris Wheat, and uh, he grew up playing with my dad. But he uh-huh. plays like double kick, and his knees are above his chest when he plays. But he played like I have to show you some of that music. He's the most insane drummer. I grew up with my cousin Carter. Uh, we started playing drums when we were the same age, and he's the best drummer I know. I wouldn't trust anybody with the sticks over him. For real? Yeah. yeah. So okay. he's just a normal dude from Trinity, but like I wouldn't trust anybody over him. He knows what he's talking about musically. What's your favorite instrument to play? That's a great question. Uh, I think it goes by the day. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say guitar, just because that most people know that I play that. Mm-hmm. But I write most of my songs on piano. Um, I think oh, I so still. You mean your bag? You be like. Yeah, I like string instruments. I like violins. I I love playing the saxophone. I just haven't played it in so long. My embouchure is like messed up. I don't have strong enough lips anymore, so I'd have to get back into that. But I love woodwinds. I love, yeah. I'm about to go and I'm about to nerd out, but yeah. You 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 ever try to serenade a girl playing? The God piano? no, for real. Yeah, I'm I'm super awkward. That's Bro, hard, it's the, you it's the do fact that. that you're 22 though, and like and you, can play all those instruments. Well, that's what's up. Some some people practice serenading girls, and some people practice the instruments. So I just <laughs> I picked the wrong side, but it worked out. Yeah, we're no, here. It definitely so. worked out. You at Dreamville? How does that feel like? To let you know this early, young, you already on festivals like Dreamville, like, oh, uh, or did you already know this was coming? You felt like I've been knew I could do this since I was young. I knew it was coming only because I was delusional. It worked, and so I was right, and so I can say that. But if it wouldn't work, I still would have assumed I was doing it. If that makes sense, so I didn't know I was gonna be here, but I knew I was gonna be here. Yeah, you know. What, what do I'm you saying? think helped fed that delusion? Like you know, like you said, being young, coming from a small town. Like, what made you know you could believe in yourself and be anywhere? Um, and you could do what you love. 
That's the only thing I knew. It's the only thing I'm good at. It's literally was the it only somebody thing. that told you, like, or that was like, you know what I'm saying, like always in your ear? Not really. Myself. I talk to Same. myself a lot. That's who you need to talk to. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, I think I was just stubborn enough to not listen to anybody else. You know what I'm saying? I just enjoyed it. And I don't think I ever stepped into it like, this has to work. Like, it was just like, I love, I'm going to do this regardless. Even if I go get a job, gotcha. I'm still going to do this. I, I was just Like, lucky. you would do it for free. Like, yeah. it's, it's my passion. Forever. Yeah, I still do it for free half the time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just like, this is, what I, this is my hobby. This is what I do for fun. So, I tell just, me this. Have you ever performed in Trinity since you've been making moves and stuff like that? Um, I haven't. I don't think I've done a hometown show in like a year and a half. So when it's time for it, it's gonna be a big one. Yeah, when it's time, it's up. Yeah, it's super up. I'm gonna have to do like a parking lot concert. Throw back, no stress. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Which, yeah. What's a What's a city that you uh, haven't performed in that you would like to perform in? North Carolina or just all over? All over. You just yeah. You. Um. I haven't performed in Chicago yet. I'd like to perform in Chicago. Like to to I've Chicago. been there a few times, but I haven't, I haven't done a show there yet. Uh -huh. But that's, that's one good. of the yeah, that's one of the big the, the big cities I want to do. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yes, sir. You well, trying to get one in with two chains? Yeah, I'm trying to do that <laughs> tomorrow. I think. Yeah, I can see the you, you yeah. in the you in the bubble. No, I got to show you that one too. Oh man, you holding okay. back, bro? Also, you got some heat. No, nah, yeah, I got you. I got a few. <laughs> I got a few things. When can, in the we, can we expect some of this heat to drop? Um, season two drops this Friday. That's three songs. Okay. Uh, three brand new songs. Uh, but there's no features on those. And then season. Who the feature? No, there's no features on season. Oh, two. no feature. Okay. I'm working on features for season three, but I'm not going to spoil any of them because. Oh, gosh, gosh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'll announce those when they come. But I got a few cool people coming up. Um, a few artists, you know. I can't wait to tell you when it's just us. But yeah. okay. But we, you gonna let us hear the song? Yeah, I'll let you hear. It, yeah. Oh yeah, bet, I'll let you bet, hear. Bet. I definitely got it right here. Damn, y'all can't hear, it, but we gonna. Let it. Yeah, yeah, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, you'll enjoy it. I just can't spoil it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. Long as you looking out for us. Yeah, I got bro. you. I got you. I can't wait. Who are you excited to see at Dreamfield this weekend? Cole. Everybody's been asking me that. That's why I came. I came for Cole. Yeah. Cole's gonna shut it down. He does every year. Yeah, no. He's one of my sure. favorite performers. Did you see any of the performances yesterday? I haven't. I'm not gonna lie. We was. I was on the road for 13 hours yesterday. Half Had passed to get out. That rest. Half, yeah. 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 yeah, you done seen Cole perform before, though, right? Yeah, I came here last year. It was my first time at Dreamville. What's your favorite song for him to perform? From Cole, um, "Love Yours." Okay, it's good. One. I, I think it. with the crowd involvement, I think when he come out, first thing first, rest in peace, Uncle yeah. Phil. Yeah. Like yeah. the whole crowd. What is that? Uh, role model, middle child. Yeah, role yeah, models. Role models. Uh -huh. Role yeah. models. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great song too. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If I looked at my phone, I could tell you 80 of them. Yeah. Yeah. He's got hits. He's got hits on hits for sure. Last song you searched in your uh in your phone. Last song I searched in my phone. Um Elton John Rocket Man. <laughs> okay, second to last song. <laughs> Elton John, I know Elton Rocket John, Man. I just don't know Rocket Man. I don't Rocket know Man? Rocket Man either. That was on the way here? Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. think it was last night. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, th I'm thinking of show starters and show enders mm. for like big shows. I do. I play a lot of older music at the beginning of our sets. Gotcha. So, okay. so to get you in your mode or zone, you don't, like what, what else besides like a song and stuff like that? You don't do any kind of ritual or anything like that? You said what? Any a kind ritual? of ritual? Yeah. Oh uh, no, nah, I'm not. I listen to Lil Wayne, uh, famous a lot, but that's not a ritual. That's just a song I love. Yeah. Like when I go to shows, that's like yeah. my stadium. Like I close my eyes, I'm like. You can yes. see yourself out there, yeah. You know yeah doing it in your zone. In zone. What's that first feeling like when you get off stage for an, a crowd like this, like Dreamville? Like what are you thinking when you first getting off? Like damn, I just rocked it. The first song that I play. Or know how you feeling? Just how am I feeling? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm in disbelief every time. First thing I do when I get off stage is ask everybody if it sounded bad. Okay. Yeah, every time I get off stage, I'm just like, does that sound good? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, but for real though? Like, did you really hear it? Yeah. And disbelief. I think there's always something I could do better after every show. Okay. I feel like a lot of artists been saying that. Like, they be in their head about, like, do I sound yeah. good? Do I, does it feel good? Uh -huh. I, I think that's something creative. Like, have you ever been scared to, like, share your art with people? Or any of your art forms? Like, no, nah, not anymore. Not okay. anymore. When I was in middle school, I was, I was super scared. But then once I got like my, once I figured out what I wanted to say, I think I didn't know what to say. I was afraid to stutter. But like I said, I figured out how not to stutter. So now that I can, 
uh, now that I know what I want to say and who I, how I want to sound, I can't wait to show people. You slick and found yourself like you. you Working that, on it. I wouldn't yeah. say myself, but my sound for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. If somebody was new and they hadn't heard your sound before, like how would you describe your music? Good. I literally have no other way to describe it. I think you would. I think it's just, <laughs> just comfortable good. and just good warm music. and surprising and familiar um, and nostalgic. Nostalgic. Okay. That's my. Nostalgic. That's my word. A person nostalgic. first time watching this. What's one song you'll say? Go listen to this, then go listen to the rest. Like a, a like one song, like to get somebody to be like, okay, Your yeah, I see what he's talking about. Song. Yeah, an introduction and, and just show like who you are as a uh, person. Inside my head, song inside called Inside my, my head. head. Inside my inside head. Inside my head. Yes, sir. That's what's up. That's what's up, uh-huh. man. We appreciate you pulling up on us, talking and chatting with us, man. You and said it, season two. Season two. Season two drops Drop this, Friday. this Friday. Okay. And that, what date is that? Um, uh, the 12th, April 12th. 412. Okay. 412. Okay. We're going to check it out. Let them know Please where do. else they can follow you at. Uh, Anella Harem, A N E L L A H U R I M on all platforms, literally everywhere. Whatever you're, whatever you're searching it on. I'll find you there. Inside my head. Y'all go check that out. Yeah, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for saying And we finna listen to the You and Honcho. And oh, yeah. We yeah. about to play. I can't wait yeah. to Don't lie to us now. No, I can't yeah. wait to hook up. All right. I can't wait to hook <laughs> my up. My dog. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.